Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today we have a new episode and we start with the unboxing like always. This is a collab in between District Vision and New Balance. We can see here some of my sizes. You can pause the video if you need. Here we can see what's inside of the box. Here we can see both of them and we start with the left foot. These are some of the best running sneakers that we can find in New Balance right now. And as you can see the stack is very big, it's normal for this kind of sneakers. And I expect from them a very good cushioning overall. My first sensation with them on my hand is that they are very lightweight. We can see through those little holes so we know these are very breathable sneakers. To be honest, I didn't see something this open so far and I'm expect to be extremely well prepared for summer. Around the hill we can see a bit of padding, it's not too much but I'm surprised to find this much on this kind of running sneakers. In Adidas something similar will be Adios Pro 2. Here we can have a look of this logo from the tongue, district vision and also on the lateral of the upper. I've seen that recently they released more colorways on this uh, model and I think it was the time because they are very popular all around the world. We can have here a closer look with this missile, I think is the best that I've seen in New Balance so far. And I wish that more models will come with this fuel cell in the future. I decided here to check a bit the density and I will say it's soft all around the shoe and I love it. I simply love it, honestly. The first thing that we see on this sole is that carbon plate. All the best running sneakers these days they have it and it's something that we will want and need. They will increase that bounce back quite a lot. Again I'm checking this foam. I wish here on the sole could have been little bit dense at least right on the surface. We can see three patches of rubber. The ones from the heel are not very thick and the one that we find in forefoot, that one is very sturdy piece of rubber. I love it, that one. I wish that all three were the same though. In the forefoot we can see this piece of rubber that it has some holes inside. I wish they weren't there. I don't think they are giving any use of these sneakers. So they should remove that because it's dangerous. You can be pocket with something in your forefoot. We can see here the patches from the back and the thickness of them and how strong they are. They are a bit elastic. And now we move on to see the interior and the insole. Here is the insole, one of the slimmest I've seen so far in sneakers. This is very thin insole. And still I didn't felt the need to be thicker than this. We can find here some logos, something to do with the inner peace and mental health.
in this shot we can see the footbed it has a very thin layer of nylon or something similar it's not very rigid and i like it that and i wish that in the future we can see more sneakers having it this way here is the internal label you can pause the video if you need and the kind of padding that it have around the collar i personally like it this way with this kind of padding i don't think it should be much less than this but it might not be for everyone even though it's not stiff it can always be improved and be a bit more soft than it is this footbed it's just a preference i guess As you can tell, we're gonna have a look of this uh, right foot because we want to see if the quality is consistent. In the left foot, I didn't have any issues. And I like to say that in the right foot, the same. They are very well made, nothing to complain, to be honest. We can see here the logo of New Balance on this tongue. So in the left foot, we see the District Vision logo and here is the New Balance logo. And the sole remains the same. Also the insoles, they are exactly the same, both of them. We can see here better. And we can have here a closer look to this upper and these laces. And I think I just found the first thing that I don't like it on these sneakers. It has to be these laces. They are a bit too elastic and also the micro fibers from inside. They are very, very easily to grab them if you have dry skin like I have. Here's a quick demonstration of that. You can see how, how easily I can pull those microfibers. I don't care the price range. I don't think it should happen in any sneakers, this thing. We can see here the upper and I like it because it's very rugged. Although it has those big holes inside, at least it's rugged because I've seen other sneakers, they have it very transparent and they won't last and the value for money is very important for most of us, if not all, because they are $220 or 230 euros. As you can tell, the tongue is very very thin, almost zero padding, it has very very small amount of padding and it's soft, it feels like sweet for example, although it's synthetic material. And here we can have a better look of this transparency in this upper. These sneakers are made for running, so this is normal to see it this way. I know that some people will ask what if I want to use them as everyday sneaker because I need them, I don't know, some problems with the feet and they need them to stay long hours on feet. Well, for walking they are not a good idea because the heel is very narrow. The forefoot is no problem because it's wide enough, but heel being this narrow, you won't have the stability when you are walking with them, you know. And you can see here the footprint of these sneakers and I will describe them like a glove. I mean, I thought they would be huge being this big midsole and when I've seen them in the box, I was worried that they send me another uh, size, you know. I thought this size is much smaller than I use and inside I have plenty of space, so it's not the case. So here you can see what to expect from these sneakers. 
if they were having a bit wider heel would have been perfect even for the everyday use if you need it but this way i don't know you might not have the balance that you are expecting and here we have the weight test as i said before they are very lightweight even on my hand you can see here the numbers they are excellent i can't complain of anything i've seen lighter but i i don't care that much you know if they are in general for me if they have under 500 grams or 17.63 ounces i think it's more than enough because otherwise you start to sacrifice the quality in general and they won't last as much so always is a trade i mean if you are very popular youtuber or you have plenty of money of course you won't care just make them as lighter as as you can't but they won't last you know after 50 k's maybe they will go to the garbage and that is creating more waste on this planet you know that is nothing sustainable what i'm trying to say is that we have to be a bit more careful for what we ask and what we wish to have already exist 200 grams sneakers but don't ask this pair with four centimeters tall missile to have the same weight because they will do it for us of course they will do it if they want but that will not last so you will throw that pair after like i said 50 k's or 100 k's and that is more garbage in this world than needed here is a small test with my thumb to see if they are true to size as you can tell they are true to size indeed for the width of course maybe the um, insole it will not have enough but the sneaker yeah it has plenty of width so i don't complain with anything this by the way is not a scientific test it's just to have an idea more or less how they are for me And finally we have some unfit shots, we can see here better my arch and my instep. In comparison with other sneakers dedicated, I mean, these ones they don't have that problem to, to need more time to take them in and out, you know. I wish though that this tongue would have been half gusseted. In this shot we can see some other sneaker options, exactly the same, dedicated running sneakers. None of them are perfect, so it's just a matter of taste in the end. You just pick the one you it fits your needs better, I guess. All the sneakers have good cushioning. They have carbon plates or energy roads in Adidas. As you can see, they have good cushioning. I tried here to catch some frames with them, but they are more or less the same in cushioning. Only those plates they are making more or less impact on them having them on my feet i just realized that these ones they have right now the best comfort and cushioning in all the sneakers that i tried but the energy return is just okay and finally we have some unfit shots from a lower angle you can see here a bit better this midsole and how is the cushioning how really is the cushioning on these sneakers and i have to be honest and say this is the best so far adidas adios pro 2 were the king and now i think these ones they are the new king <laughs> they are at another level in cushioning in energy return adios pro 2 remains the best so far both of them they have pros and cons for example this missile i like the cushioning it's great it wrinkles a bit more than the one from like strike pro from adidas that one i feel that it doesn't wrinkle as much I might be wrong but this is my feeling you know over time they might look the same but this is my first impression with them of course this is not a deal breaker for any pair i mean they are still doing a better job in comparison with nike zoom x for example those they are making wrinkles from the first try you know that's why i said in the beginning that nothing is perfect so everyone with his own taste will pick the ones that he likes by the way this model is from 2021 but the colorway is from 2000 
2022 as right now in spain they have it in five different color ways and i like them all but on this one we don't find that big logo that rest of them have it with new balance so finally i think it came the time for pros and cons well for pros i like the upper i like the sole and i like the midsole what i didn't like too much were those laces those they should never be used in the future they are trash honestly but you can always put another pair of black uh, laces and you're done with that other thing could be this tongue it's not bad but i don't like it that it's not gusseted you know it can go in in places it won't stay maybe when you are running as it should and this will be all for pawns, you know. I like them the way they are. I hope they won't change. Look at this cushioning. This is amazing. This is great. They should be all the sneakers in the world this way. Make them this way. I don't care the brand. Just do it the same. I hope in the next version they won't ruin that sole because right now is good. I hope if they can improve it, well, just improve it. If not, don't take anything from that rubber. That is great the way it is. And I'm saying this because they usually look at the competition, look those they have 100 grams less, let's do it the same. And they will cut from that rubber, always happen this, I hate when I, I see these things. So my final thoughts, they are great value for money and I think they worth the price, although they are a bit expensive, they could cut down 20 euros from that. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time, if you have any questions please let me know and please don't forget to subscribe, it's very important for me. Take care of you and see you on the next episode.